Right, Ted from Aperture, uh, you show us a little bit from the Amaran light, right? Absolutely. So we have a new Amaran light out. This is called the Tri-8. So that stands for 888 LEDs in one iPad-sized device. Mm -hmm. Now basically, this is basically an installment uh, above our old 672 lights. Now these are very, very popular lights because they give out good quality light. So TS TLCI and CRI of above 96. Mm -hmm. So very, very faithful. You're not going to get any green or magenta spikes okay. from LED lights. Great. In addition to that, it's a small size, iPad size, and they run off Sony batteries. Mm -hmm. With the new model, we're adding in a couple features that people have been asking us for. So number one is durability. Mm -hmm. People wanted their Amaran lights, they love the price, they love the light quality, they want it to be more durable. This right here is pure PC. This is actually bulletproof PC. And on the back here, this is aircraft grade aluminum. Mm -hmm. So this is a light that's not gonna break anytime soon. You can beat it up, throw it around, and it'll still keep working. Good. In addition to that, we put in 888 LEDs instead of 672, which means that this is actually 25 to 30% brighter than the old lights. Mm -hmm. So if I power that up real quick, I know, just so you can get a kind of sense of where we are. We have a top yeah, box. you just want to show. Yeah, okay. Show, <laughs> show off, show off, mate. Show off. It is, it is super punchy. Uh, output of a 550 to 600 watt tungsten light. Very, very bright. And on the back here, you can still use those Sony lithium ion batteries, NPF. Or now you have DTAP, so you can actually snap in an Anton Bauer or V-mount battery right here. Go straight into DTAP, and you can power it off there. Mm -hmm. In addition, on the bottom here, you get a readout for your actual percentage of power. Yeah. And your battery metering is now in time instead okay. of just fuels. Yeah. So what that means is instead of having to say, oh, I have one out of four bars left in my battery, now you can say, hey, we have 35 minutes. Let's get going, guys. We have 35 minutes. We're chasing daylight. Um, perfect light, super durable, power options, and of course, the light quality is very high again. It's going to be, of course, a TLCI rating of 96. Okay. Now you've got a strange setting of the bar of the LEDs. Well, ex explain us why. You noticed. So basically, um, well, it's an aperture A. <laughs> and basically, the reason that we did this isn't just because we wanted it to, you know, just have our logo on it. Of course, that's cool, too. But the reason is because if you have LEDs in any sort of recognizable pattern, you'll actually notice because each LED is giving out a little small shadow that's different. And if they're in rows, you'll kind of see those bars and see those rows okay. from the LED. So by mixing them up, we actually get rid of that shadow and we can randomize that effect so it's not noticeable. Okay, great. Yeah, absolutely. So this is coming out. We think it's going to come out in the next two to three months. Mm -hmm. It's going to be priced at about $350, which is only a little bit more than our 672 kit. And we're adding in a whole lot of new features. Great. Sure. Thanks, Ted. Thanks for meeting.